Peace y'all, I am ICC and today I'm gonna show you how to avoid the 10 minute timer while using the Titan 2 on a PlayStation 4 with a non PlayStation 4 controller. The PlayStation 4 has a 10 minute timer that will check to make sure you are using an authentic controller. Whether it be a third party or an official controller, as long as it's a PS4 controller, it will pass and you will never notice anything. However, if you are not using a PlayStation 4 controller, every 10 minutes you will be disconnected for a moment and you must unplug your controller and plug it back in. If this happens in the middle of an important moment in the game, needless to say, it could have bad results for you. The Titan 1 and the Titan 2 both have to deal with the same 10 minute issue. It's not a matter of the device, it's a matter of the console itself. There are a few workarounds and I'm about to show you them now, so let's get right into it. So for method A, the first thing you will need is obviously your Titan 2, then you will need two micro USB cables, a DualShock 4 controller, and then the controller you want to play with plus the appropriate USB cable to plug in that controller. In this example, I will be using a PS3 controller as the one I'm playing with, so I will need a mini USB cable. Next, plug the Titan 2 device into the console via the output port on the back. Next thing you will need to do is plug your PS4 controller into input B. So take your micro USB cable and hook it up. This controller does not have to be a new model PlayStation 4 controller. As long as it is a PlayStation 4 controller, you are good to go. You can now set that aside and you pretty much won't have to touch it again. Next, plug the controller you want to use into input A. Input A has priority over input B you could plug these into either port, but I choose A because of that. In method B, you can connect a PS4 controller via Bluetooth. This method would cost you more because you need the module. If you already plan on getting it, then this method might be best for you because there will be less wires. As of now, the Bluetooth module has not been released, but I will make a video on how to connect a PlayStation 4 controller to the Titan 2 via the Bluetooth module. So just check our other videos when it's released. You can use almost any USB controller. I have tried PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Xbox One wireless controllers if you have the receiver, Xbox Elite controllers, or even RetroBit controllers, or even 8-Bit Do controllers. We and Wii U Pro controllers are in the plans, but there is no said date. Anyways, now you are good to go. These methods will pass the 10 minute timer. Both input A and input B act as the same player. So when the PlayStation 4 checks for a real PlayStation 4 controller, it will find it while you play with the controller of your choice. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will try my best to respond. Anyways, I am ICC. Thanks for watching. Peace.